to a degree. Don't forget, I literally, chef's whites always end up marked and stained that you can't get them off. You can get them really white so they look clean, but they do mark up. I'm so sorry. It's just the nature of the job, which is why a lot of commercial kitchens have actually swift, uh, switched to chef's blacks because they don't show as much. But obviously they're there to show that you put on a clean set of whites. So a good quality detergent. Make sure you dose properly. Uh, so read the back, set it up with very dirty for your water hardness. This isn't one for being economical, I'm afraid. And I wouldn't do what it will be expensive if you're washing one set of whites at a time. Most commercial kitchens will wash your, I mean, certainly everywhere I've worked, you, um, you know, you could leave your whites and they were all done together with the kitchen cloths at the end of shift. So there's a machine load. However, good dose, biological detergent. Also put a spoonful of soda crystals in with it and uh, the sodium percarbonate that you see me rave about. Now, it's the active ingredient in powders like Vanish. So you could buy something like Vanish or OxyClean. Don't pay full price for the actual branded Vanish. It's about three times the price of a knockoff one. I mean, buy that stuff. You can buy it loose. It's a plain color. It doesn't, have, doesn't smell nice. Isn't a lovely thing to use because it's just the plain bleach. Use a scoop, a good dollop of that all in there like a soupy thing put it all in wash on a long cotton wash at 60 this is one where you don't muck around using short washes which is why as you're washing at 60 and you're doing the long cotton wash you don't want to be washing just one set of whites you want to be washing kind of a full load um so get that in. If you do that regularly you will keep them as good as they can be got but like I said you know you you're in a dirty profession they get covered in hot grease all sorts of stuff it gets really baked in um you know there's only so not everything can be got back to new but if you stick to that you shouldn't be too bad um but like i said you don't want to be doing it one at a time because that with current electric prices that's expensive you know the, the, the washing it's not cheap so you know three or four sets, a machine load at once. Maybe what you could do is pair up with other people on your shift and every shift, a different person takes everybody's whites home with them and washes them if you can't wash them at work, which you ought to ask about. 